In this video, I will demonstrate on how you can jailbreak your Fire Stick to get it fully loaded with the best applications. So it's 2024 and you want to fully set up your Fire Stick. Well, look no further. In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how you can take your Fire Stick to a whole new level. All you have to do is follow each step carefully and fully till the end for the best results. And I'm going to walk you through everything. So let's start off by explaining what this exactly does. This will enable your Fire Stick to be fully loaded. Some might call it even jailbreaking. It's just side loading all the applications out there um, to get fully set up, to have the full entertainment possibilities on your Fire Stick. Right off the box, it's good and all that. But with this, it will take it to the next level. The apps that I will be providing are the best out there. Some may, you may have heard of, others you've never heard of, but might be the best for your, towards you. Um, what we're going to do is here, we're going to go to our settings. You want to swipe all the way to the right. And I'm going to walk you through everything step by step. So don't worry about that. Go in your settings and you're going to scroll down until you see my Fire TV. It's going to be this icon right here. You're going to click on it. Oh, you press by OK by on your remote control. You'll be taken to this screen right here. In this screen, you'll have a few options. We're going to choose the one on the top. It's going to be about. You're going to click OK on it. And within this screen, we're going to click seven times on the Fire Stick. You're just going to click on it. This will enable developer options if you're not already one. I'm already one, as you can see right there. Just press on it seven times on your remote control on the OK button, and it will enable developer options. You can now press back, and you will see the developer options appearing here. So for now, we're done here. We'll come back here later. Uh, you can press the home button on your remote control and we're going to go to the search section and we're going to search for an application. You're going to type in the search bar and we're going to search for the app called Downloader. Just by typing in D, it will already appear most of the times. And then you can swipe down until you see it and click OK on it. You'll be taken to this screen. It's going to be this orange icon um, downloader app. You're going to press OK again and it's going to load up this page where you can press another OK on the remote control and it's going to go ahead and start downloading and installing this app for us on our Fire Stick. So we're a step further now and as you can see it's already done so we can go ahead and click OK. We're already on that button OK again to open up the application. It's going to pop up the app and the first notification that you get is to allow access. Uh, of downloader you're gonna allow it you can either deny or allow you're gonna make sure you allow it and you're gonna click ok here and then you'll have some options here you can uh, go ahead and go to the search bar it will pop up the keyboard before we go any further here we want to press the home button again it will be taking us back to the home screen and once again we will go to the settings all the way to the right is going to be the settings gear you're going to scroll down until you see my fire tv again you're going to press ok here and this time we're going to the developer options we just added before click ok uh, go down once to hover over the install unknown apps click ok and what we want to do here is we want to toggle on downloader because we're going to download an application here and all you're doing here is um, authorizing it for us to be able to download the application you can press home button again. It will be taking you back to the home screen. And after that, we're going to go to the app. We just downloaded. It's going to be here uh, next to the settings gear. We're going to press OK on it. And it's going to load all our apps on our Fire Stick. You're going to go all the way down until you see the orange icon again. Press OK. And now you're going to press OK again on the search bar to get the keyboard popped up. And now we're going to type in a code. Um, that code is going to be two, three, four, seven, five, three. So all you have to do right here is just type in that code two, three, four, seven, five, three, and then you can go with your, with your remote control down again until you see go. You're going to press OK on it. It's going to automatically connect us to this web page and it's going to also load up the application we're trying to download eventually it will start installing it after doing ex exactly nothing 
it will do it all by itself you will get this menu right here where you'll get the option to either cancel or install you just want to go left and right on your remote control and hover over install and click ok after it's fully loaded you can see that it's installed for now we don't need to do anything we're just going to press on the home button again on our remote control it will be once again and probably for the last time be taken back to the home screen and now you want to go again to the settings gear all the way to the right you want to go down again click on my fire tv and you'll be taken to the last menu where we were and install all known apps you want to go back on your keyboard it's going to be the back arrow once and you're going to press ok again to get in that menu again and now you will see that app also added here all you need to do is press ok to toggle it on because here we will be installing another applications after that you can press home again and we can go to that last app we just downloaded go to your apps scroll all the way down open up that new app and this is how it looks like here we can add a library again like i mentioned before this library has the best applications out there all you need to do is press ok press ok again it's gonna pop up this keyboard again and like i mentioned it has everything the name of this library is also called everything just type in everything like i do and just wait for it there you go so this is how you type it out and then you can hover over next you can hit ok it's gonna start up loading this library right away you will see a uh, welcoming message and uh also it pops up a link that you can use if you want the best subscription out there with all the content in the world there's a link there you can get and purchase a subscription uh this is the one that i use highly recommend it and yeah just check it out it just takes it even a step further you already have the best library here but if you want to even pay a small fee for it you'll get the best quality out there uh just by clicking ok you will enter the library and uh again all these applications are free that link is just to take to a next level um it's categorized it has a lot of apps they're they're updated recently and uh yeah it has a recommended category these are the apps that i use for instance and it has a tools category so for this tutorial let's go ahead and uh, install an app we're going to install task killer right here uh, just for demonstrations of this tutorial press ok on it it will pop up this menu you're going to hit ok to download it's going to automatically download the application and you can press ok to install it after that it's going to load up and you'll get this message again you can actually you can or cancel it or install we're going to install it and we're going to wait for it after that it's done you can hit done and we can go back to the home screen and you can go to your apps all the way down until you see that app we just downloaded and you can press ok this will close all background app so i use this often it is awesome as you can see it is working and that's about it uh, ladies and gentlemen there's nothing else to be said very easy quick uh, recap this library has the best applications out there they're free and this is what you need to take your fire stick to the next level besides that if you love watching live content there will be a link there uh, that's the one that i use you can purchase it and you'll have the best quality out there. that being said this video has come to an end i would like to thank you all for watching please leave me some feedback and see you in the next one